Hello and thanks for coming back for another video. I hope you enjoy this one as I had some difficulty making it, had some issues with my cameras, lost some footage. But either case, here's the video. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you again for watching. Please enjoy the music and my attempt at photography. So here's what we got for dinner tonight. Uncle Ben's red beans and rice and chicken apple brats. I'm gonna make a couple of these brats up and mix them up in here, make like a goulash. Pretty hungry, can't wait. You know what, I'm only gonna have one. supposed to microwave this stuff. It seems to be reheating pretty well. Oops. Add a little more water in there. Just keeping it moving. I normally like to play music when I'm cooking, 
But the problem I have with that is YouTube gets me for copyright infringement. And let's face it, I use decent background music, but it's not something I want to listen to out here on the river. It's coming along pretty well. My broad's coming up nice. Been nice to have a big old steak to put there on this grill, huh? Actually, I'm not much into steak so much anymore. Good old pork chop, man. Yeah. All right, this is looking like it's pretty much done. Smells good. I'm sure I'm but a little bit longer. Let's back this brought down over here. There we go. That's one. Now I'll put my brat. Push it off into there. So we've got it all cut up and mixed up in here. Let's see if I can give you a look of it. Ain't much to look at, really. What is camp food, right? What is camp food, right? Yep. I gotta back up a little bit. That smoke's killing me here. Hopefully I'm still in camera frame for my first bite. That's good. Yep, yep. That's good. <laughs> it's a little difficult to cuddle when there's not enough water. We can do some cross, cross the reaction. We can make it to that eddy. Well, so much for keeping my feet dry. Uh -oh. Get 
the way, we're in our water. Looks like we're running out of water all the way around. Here it just got so shallow, I couldn't get a good paddle stroke in to continue going forward. The weather was pretty rough, it was still getting kind of cold outside, so I didn't really want to walk through the stream and pull my boat up, so I decided just to turn around. Just not enough water to keep going. Just not enough. You can hear the river start picking up, you can also feel it just starts to pull you. It starts to get shallower. You start to see more rocks underneath. I've done a lot of whitewater rafting. But whitewater canoeing and whitewater rafting I have found are not the same thing at all. Whitewater rafting is a lot more forgivable. Of course, you are dealing with six to eight other people in the boat usually. Right, here we go, going on our first rapid. Now, if I remember correctly, everything's pretty much right dead center. Follow the Vs. There we go, we're just gonna get around that guy right there. There's a rock right about there. Another one, we're about to hit it. Another one. All right, that's not too bad. Only bounced off a few. <laughs> Remember what I said about forgiving? Well, I got forgiven because I got a plastic canoe. If I was in a fiberglass canoe, that might not have been so nice. There's the camp. Can you see her? This is how you, you bring your technical skills in order. Can I get this thing back in position now? Yes, I can. Just like downtown. Be nice if I could find a spot to put down ahead of time. So it's easier to take back off again. It doesn't look like there's any good hiking backwards. Oh, and what's that right there? That's uh, poison oak. Uh, Looks like we're going to stab the stream. Oh, we're missing it. We're missing it. Oh, okay. All right, we got it. We got it. Oh, we don't. I hope you guys saw that. <laughs> I was trying to make that stream. That didn't work out, man. I hit that thing. It spun me back around. Almost got swamped. Boy, I can't wait to see the footage on this one.
So after checking the bottom for any shallow rocks, I decide that I'm gonna do a little test and see what it's like to flip my canoe. The water was much colder than anticipated. It stopped me cold there. You see me pause? I am truly disoriented. Even though I completely had in my mind exactly what it was I needed to do the moment I flipped over, that water was so cold it took my breath away and made me lose my train of thought for a second. This exercise, however, taught me a lot. I realized real quickly that just having a bow line on the boat is not enough. I need to put the loops on the front and the back and also install my throw rope. yourself see the water's not gonna be that cold but it's cold it takes your breath away cold this is a good good test I'm glad I did this I know my life jacket's gonna hold me up <sighs> I know how the boat handles and it don't have where to go before it flips over that was fun even though I'm kind of winded from it but thank goodness my GoPro mount held Everything stayed in the boat like it was supposed to. Yeah, but... Well, it's time for me to play a little bit. Now, some of you may be completely unimpressed, but you know what? This is the very first time I've ever ridden any kind of river wave in any kind of boat at all. Intentionally. There was a time when our raft got sucked into uh, the back of an eddy on the back of a, a major rapid on the middle fork of the American River that really caused our boat to just about flip. But that wasn't intentional. This actually is intentional surfing, and I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to find some bigger waves. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. That's a sweet spot right there. I have a lot more footage of me surfing here and shooting some more rapids upstream and a little bit more lining, real canoeing stuff. I think I'll put all that in a separate video just for canoeing. So if you want to see that, go ahead and check the link below. Well, thank you all so much for watching. God bless and take care. See you on the next one.